Hey y'all, it's Nini here back with another one. And I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to all my subscribers and welcome new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you guys. You guys don't understand. We're almost at 100 subs and it was all because of you guys. And I appreciate all the love and all the comments you guys leave down below. But now I'm about to show y'all how to do this real natural you know simple cute beat that you can wear anywhere honey so sit back relax and stick around to the end of this video so right now i'm going in with um this yellow shade you can get this yellow shade from like any palette it doesn't matter and you don't even have to be like real neat when it comes to um this look because it's really simple so I just kind of went in with a yellow shade at first and I tapped that into the, cr the crease and then I like flared it out like I buffed it out. And then I went in with this brown eyeshadow and I'm just doing the same um, method and I'm just going back into my crease and I'm just blending those shades, um, not together kind of, but you know, I'm going back and forth with the shades to make sure that they're present. And um, this is how it looks after I was done blending it out. It has like a little hint of yellow, which is what I was looking for. And now I'm going in with um, P. Louise and Zero. And I tap that all on, on my lid. And I'm just buffing it out. Um, kind of like in the shape of like a cut crease. Like I would do a cut crease. And I'm just um, tapping that onto my lid and blending that out. Now I went in with this um, beige shade in my Warriors 2 palette from Juvia's Place. And I just used this um, flat angled brush to tap the eyeshadow right on top of the P. Louise base. Now I'm going back in with that brown shade and I am blending out the harsh lines from that tan, that tan eyeshadow from the Juvia's Place palette. And this is how it came out. Now I'm going in with my Sephora's um, Jet Black Liner. And I'm just creating a wing liner. Also, if you guys want me to do like a wing liner tutorial, just like a video for um, like how to do a wing liner, just let me know in the comments down below. And I will be glad to do one. And now I just went in with um, some moisturizer. And this is Pond's. And I'm just applying that all over my skin. And we're going to be trying out these products. Um, I went to um, Ulta and I was just like, you know what? Let me just, you know, get some things. So I'm going to try out these products. This is the NYX Hydrogen, like Hydro Primer. It's like an oil. And I was like, yeah, let me try it because it is the winter time. And I have really, really dry skin. So I was just like, yeah, let's definitely try this. So, um, so far, um, I liked it. It was really lightweight. It wasn't really oily like I I kind of expected it to be or something like that. But I was just like, okay, I just hope it's not too oily to the point where you could just see it like all over my skin. But it was nothing like that. And I loved it. Now I'm going in with Anastasia's um, foundation. I've been dying to try this foundation. This is in a shade 490W. Um, and... Um, I was just looking at it like, uh-uh, is she, like, are we going to accept us into the kingdom? Because, 
mm -mm, I'm real picky when it comes to my foundation. But um, this foundation was literally like, it's very lightweight, which is what I love. Um, what else I can say? Um, I don't think I need it all. I didn't. I don't think I needed two pumps for one side. I think I could have went good with one pump, but because I'm so extra, I went in with two pumps, and I freaking. I'm talking, girl. Listen, I. If you don't get this foundation, I don't know what to tell you. I really love the foundation. It's like a go-to, like a everyday. It's like an everyday. Everyday foundation. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm going to go back to the store and get um, 500 because, I don't know, I just felt like this one was too light. I don't know. Y'all probably, probably can't see it, but I feel like it was too light or whatever. But I'm just going to try the 500 and see what it do. But I went in with 10 deep and um, deep in um, Tarte um, Cosmetics, their um, concealers. And um, with these concealers, you don't want to let it sit. You know, I usually let my concealers sit, but I couldn't let this sit for too long. So I kind of just went in and I started blending out the edges with my um, setting brush from Real Technique. And um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now. Now I'm going in with Black Opal, and this is Ebony in their foundation stick. Okay, now, Maybelline's Fit Me setting powder. Okay, I love, 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 love this setting powder. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I was missing out or whatever it is, but baby, this setting powder is, look at it. I was shocked. I was like, oh, hell no. I was just like, wow, like, I really love it. Like, I really love it, you guys. And this is like, yeah, this is my first time trying it. Like, I was just like, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this. And this is in the shade um, medium deep 30. So go ahead and um, go get that. So it's, it's only like, I think it's $5 at Walmart, $5. But yeah, I really loved it. It's um it's very smooth. Like it makes it looks very smooth. So that's the first thing I, I it just it's smooth. It gives me dupe for um Laura Mercier. Cause you know I don't play about that Laura Mercier, baby. Laura Mercier is my gal. Okay, she came over my house and all and we had lunch. But I'm just saying, like, this is probably a dupe. So, I would say go out and get it. And get it. And now I'm just taking um the Black Opal and Ebony just to contour my nose a little bit. And now I'm going back in with the Maybelline Fit Me and Medium Deep. And I'm just going back in. And now I'm going in with more setting powder. But, um... A lot more. Mm-hmm. And I'm just taking um, my Real Technique cheek brush and I'm just blending out the cream um, contour.
and now I'm about to try their um press powder and um I honestly I like this I like the powder this is in the shade 360 I like the powder but I kind of feel like it's not my shade I don't know it's like when you're in different lighting or something like it just looks different that's that's just me but um you probably looking like I don't see what you're talking about girl but it's like it's cute it's like I love it then I hate it I wish they would they had more like shades like different shades or something they definitely need to come out with different shades for the for the um um dark skin girls and medium tone girls and now I'm going in with black radiance and this is their contour palette and I'm just contouring and now I'm blushing I'm putting on blush for my raggedy blush um palette and now I'm going in with morphe setting mist and if you don't have this mist you're a loser <laughs> I'm sorry hun you're a loser if you don't got this because baby you need that and I'm going back in with um, my foundation powder brush. And I'm just setting all that into my skin. And now I'm going in with Dose of Colors. And this is Royal Hotness, my favorite highlighter. And now I'm going in with Wet n Wild's um, dark brown pencil, and I'm just lining up my lips. Ooh, yes, child. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm going in with NYX Cosmetics. I love their lipsticks, everything, their lip gloss, everything. Their lip um, liners, all of it. I'm going in with Cairo, and I'm going in with Fortune Cookie as the butter gloss. And that's the combo, babes. And then I'm just going right back in with Cairo. And it's the liquid lipstick. And I'm going back in with the Morphe Setting Mist. And I'm just setting one more time. I love that lip combo. It's so cute. But this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for 99 subscribers. We're about to hit 100. We're about to hit 100. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and staying true to your girl. I will see you guys in the next video. And um, all my subscribers, my new subscribers, hi. Hi, y'all. Bye. Peace.